In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the macro when you already have segmentation. So let's say you run the macro and um, after the segmentation obtained with a deep learning model, uh, you're actually not very happy with segmentation and you want to correct it. So most probably it's going to happen just on a few images. You won't have to redo everything. But here I'm going to show you with the same set of images that I, um, that I used uh, in the previous video how you can use the other macro to process it uh, when you know the segmentation. So let me show you uh, the images to process. They're the same than before. So they look like this. And let's say I uh, actually use um, a, a plugin to uh, segment this uh, image. So here, as you can see, we have a stack with four images. This is the backbone. This is the visceral fat. This is the muscle. This is the subcutaneous fat. Uh, and you can use many different annotation uh, plugins. If you want, you can use annotator. Um, and here I'm going to show you just quickly so you can better visualize because here might not be easy to visualize uh, when you have separate uh, images like this. So if I open uh, the first image here, this is annotator, so you can use this tool to annotate uh, your different areas. Here I can load the corresponding segmentation so we'll have a better idea about the different segmentations. So as you can see here, backbone is in red, muscle in blue, uh, visceral fat in green, subcutaneous fat in yellow. And so you can actually use annotator to do that. So if you're interested, you can go on my uh, GitHub page. Uh, there are many video tutorials to show you how to use annotator. Uh, this is not uh, the goal of this tutorial. Here I want to use the second macro um, to do the computations of the different areas within a range of intensity when I already have segmentation. So I'm going to go back to the GitHub uh, folder uh, that I uh, downloaded from the Muvis um, uh, page. And here in macros, you have one which is called Muvis separate segmentations. So it means that you already have a segmentation. And so it looks very similar to the previous one, except that now, so if I run it, so you have an input directory for scans. So that's the same. So I don't have it to change it. Uh, it's actually the same than before. Now, instead of the input directory for the model here, it's the input directory for segmentation. And so here, I'm going to go on the desktop and I'm going to uh, define segmentation for it. All right. And I'm going to use output. And then you have the intensities, the range of intensities that you can still define for muscle, for visceral fat or subcutaneous fat. So again, we use the same range of intensities for visceral and subcutaneous fat. So that's why you have the same parameters here and here. All right, and then you can just run the macro. And so it's, it's faster than before because obviously we don't have to run the model. So you just have the past processing and computation. And now it's down. And in my output directory, as before, I have a visual inspection. So just to show the segmentation on top of the input image. So probably, you know, you don't really need that because you did it uh, before you define the segmentation, but just to make sure that it actually had the correct segmentation for the image. That's something I didn't um, specify, but to make it work, you need to have the same name for images in the folder for images than for segmentation. So you see here one dot tiff with the corresponding one dot tiff segmentation. And at the end, you also have a folder. So I'm going to open it this time with LibreOffice so I don't have to convert again with Excel. And so you're going to have actually what you want to extract for your image. So input name, muscle area, visceral fat, and subcutaneous fat area for each image. 